the FYS website. In the middle of this screen, you will find a button of Scooty, the link for Scooty. You click on this link and you will land up here. The login page of Scooty is there. All the FOIS credentials, which uh, all of you are, you must be using for accessing RMS zonal application or RMS divisional application, would work here too. So I'll be logging is uh, so this application is available for zonal level users, divisional level users, as well as those who are sitting in our railway board. Say I log in from zone NR Northern Railway. So I'll be landing up on this page. Uh, basically, this tab talks about map views. Spooty is primarily uh, about the map view, the GIS system. Actually, jo bhi hamare assets hai, jo bhi hamara business hai, that will be able to monitor on a GIS system, geographical information system. And also, and also we have some dashboards through which we could analyze the key performance indicators of um, of freight business in Indian railways. So the first option is performance dashboards. There are four dashboards available. The first one is voice KPIs. It may we have four options: the, the WTR, lead, and TKM and speed. This option, this uh, data is also available for territory wise, means zonal figure. Uh, we are viewing the data on the basis of entire Indian railways. Territory wise WTR. Type by WTR. There's nine uh, stock types, nine major stock types which are available here, and then there's a breakup. In case you want to see it for a particular zone, just click any of the zone here, Northwestern Railway. The figure changes to that particular zone. And in case you want to further go down to a division level, there are four divisions available here. You click on any of these divisions, say Bikaner, and the figure changes accordingly. This is by default for WTR. You may check it for lead. You may check it for NTKM and as well as speed. This is only for yesterday, that is 16th of March. You have the facility to change this particular date and select a period here, date from and date to. Check from 1st March to 16th March. So this is the value for Indian Railways. And then you may drill down to a zone or division. Uh, so the next dashboard is loading and loading dashboard. In this field, we have provided the number of rakes which have been loaded for Y day, and you have the facility to change the period. Number of wagons loaded, tonnage in million tons, freight collection in crores, rakes unloaded, and wagons unloaded. Again, that territory wise, the bigger one is for current period, and the uh, lower one, lower part shows the figure of the same period previous year. So there is a comparative analysis here, and all the charts are showing comparative analysis. Blues are the current year figures and reds are the red last year figures. So in this case, we have, uh, as far as this tonnage at freight is uh, uh, concerned, we have provided the information on the basis of commodities also. You click on this uh, tonnage part, you will see territory wise tonnage, type wise tonnage, as well as commodity wise tonnage. These nine commodity baskets are there. So you may check it here and you may check it for any particular zone, say SEC. For a particular division, say Nagpur, and the values are there. You may change the period again. You may check it for the entire financial year, say from 1st April to 1st April 2021 till, till date, that is 16th March. So the figures would be for the current period, that is 1st April 2021 to 16th March 2022, vis a vis. 1st April 2020 to 16th March 2021. This is comparative analysis for current period uh, with the previous year only. It's only for current financial year. So uh, once the uh, April month starts, you may not go back to the previous month, say March or uh, February or the previous year. Uh, this was uh, this was not on the basis of uh, individual commodity. This this is the comprehensive figure. Now we have designed this commodity performance also. Again, the parameters are almost the same. Rakes loaded, wagons loaded, and TKM lead, tonnage and rakes unloaded. Here you have the facility to, to select a particular commodity. Say I want to see for coal, or you may select multiple commodities here. Coal, I just click here. And this is uh, the figure of rakes loaded by day. 446 coal rakes were loaded with 400 um, as on 16th of March, 2021. So wagons loaded and 
um, for a particular zone. In this case, uh, at present, you don't have the flexibility to change a particular period, but you have four options available here. Y day, seven days, month to date. That means uh, the first uh, date of current month till Y day. That means 1st of March to 16th of March and year to date. That is current financial year. <clears throat> From 1st April to 16th March 2022. So, like uh, Western, West Central Railway has achieved 50% uh, uh, increment over the loading of coal rigs uh, for this month. Likewise, there is a breakup, division-wise rates loaded. If, if you are viewing it for a particular zone, then you will get division-wise loaded. And year to date, periodic analysis for last 15 months. And ODAS rates, which were loaded with the, this coal commodity. And these are current rates. And in case you check this current rates, you will get the expected time of arrival also. When that particular rate would be reaching at its destination. So there's a complete detail here in case you want to drill down to the rake level, you want to get the detail, you want to see the detail of those particular rakes, just click on these numbers and you'll get the detail of those rakes. Uh, so uh, there are, we have categorized the rakes which are heading towards a particular terminal in terms of those rakes which are already available at terminal, which have reached their destination are uh, highlighted with this color. In destination division, highlighted with this. In other division, but they haven't uh, yet reached their destination division. This one in other zone. And this is for uh, Bhopal division. Then we have position for indents also, the ODAS position for in, of indents of coal rigs and uh, the underloading rigs. Then we have a loading analysis uh, from these particular divisions, which zones they have loaded for number of rigs and number of wagons. You may change the commodity, change the period, select multiple commodities and view the data here. So the next one is the payment statistics. Uh, actually, we have recently uh, launched this module of online payment system. So we felt the need to have a dashboard where, where we could get the analysis of how much is being collected through e-payment, how much is being collected through offline mode and how much is through online uh, mode. So we have two statistics here. That's RR statistics as well as uh, trade collection statistics. So the period is same period you may change from here. So this is the pie which shows the different modes of collection. Total RRs, we are, by default, we are viewing this uh, RR part. Total RRs which have been generated on 16th March 2039. <laughs> And freight, uh, this one. Zone wise RR statistics for the date. You may check for a particular zone and division wise statistics. You may change the period from here. You may check freight wise statistics also. There's a detail here. Uh, so, uh, like I selected the online payment thing. So these were the this is these are the RRs which uh, have which have gone through the online uh, payment mode. This this is online RR and, and these are offline RRs. These are the offline ones. Only one is offline. Money receipt. So in case I go for Indian Railways, we'll be able to appreciate this thing that how many uh, have been collected through offline mode. Only one is offline for Y day. Y day only one is there. And if I change the period, So these are the four uh, dashboards which are available for analysis of entire business of Indian Railway, so straight business of Indian Railway. Then we have the GIS uh, views. 
so uh, we have some free text machine pulse text machine we are integrated with different systems of ir to give you a comprehensive analysis uh, first i'll demonstrate this parcel express chains which are running in the system at present for this we are integrated with parcel management systems i submit this thing i have the facility to check uh, those which are which have which have originated from particular location zone division or station those which are currently moving in particular division and those which are heading towards uh, some zone division or station uh, this view takes a bit longer because uh, we are fetching the data from parcel management system so uh, these are the loaded trains and the uh, orange ones are the empty trains there's a list here uh Havra to ndls currently at bkfc and andi to rv currently at bsl arrived at this particular time if you click on this thing uh two uh, parcel express chains are available at okla there's a complete journey there's a complete journey detail available as well as the current uh, occupancy detail also available there. So this is the current occupancy as being fetched from PMS system. The coach composition. So likewise, we have this uh, parcel uh, trains. Then uh, we had designed this movement. We had uh, provided the GIS system for the trains which were carrying uh, liquid medical oxygen during the time of COVID uh, outbreak. Uh, the next is forecasted rates awaiting interchange. The rates which uh, were forecasted to be uh, basically interchange at particular point. So in case I want to see it for Northern Railway, including LE and excluding LE, light engines. You may select a particular division as well as the interchange point, but I have given, thrown it for the entire NR. So NR uh, interchange takes place with EC, NC, NE, and NW. Just click on this. There's an interchange point, new C. If I click on this, I'll get the details. Uh, basically, trains uh, are moving from DDU to LKO via new C. 38 were forecasted. 12 have already reported their interchange. There's a shortfall of 25. If I click on this thing, I'll get the detail. These green ones are the ones which have already reported the interchange. This is the yellow one, which uh, was not actually forecasted, but is going through that route now. And there are some red ones, which were supposed to be forecasted, but um, have been either terminated, cancelled, or diverted. And there are no more passing through and new C now. So there's a complete list here. And uh, there's a GIS representation also. Uh, the, the ones which are which are moving uh, towards LQO are represented in green, and the ones which are moving towards DDU have been represented as uh, red. So I click on any of this. There's a detail here. The brief summary of this train is here, and the complete path, the complete journey of this train, I may always view from this icon. So green part is one which uh, the train has already uh, completed and this is currently at this point and red is yet to be reported and this is the destination. So likewise, I may view the detail of each and every train here, can analyze this thing, how much uh, interchange uh, have been reported, how much is the shortfall, how much is the excess. So the next position is commodity wise position. I would like to see the trains which are moving across Indian railways and ca carrying a particular commodity. So I have selected cement. I may select multiple commodities here. So these are the cement trains which are uh, basically currently moving across in Northern Railway and where they, are, where they are currently lying. The red one is the piecemeal part and the green ones are the rakes. If I click on this and get the details, and this has originated from Ambala Divida and going to Aizet Nagar. Uh, the composition is 22 plus 1 and the current uh, location is this one. Can view the detail of this train, how this is moving. So there's a brief summary of all the trains available here. If I select multiple commodities, uh, like cement and clinker. Like uh, there are out total 19 trains are moving, four uh, are carrying clinker and 15 are carrying uh, cement. Uh, so the next is loads on run. This is, I I think this is the most sought after report in this module. Uh, all the loads which are basically moving across Indian Railways network 
uh, in this case we have also integrated with the uh, icms system the integrated coach management system to fetch the detail of passenger trains which are moving um, along with the freight trains so there is a filter here train type freight passenger parcel freight and parcel so if i select all here and all the trains which are moving say in northern railway or western railway uh, west central railway so the red ones are uh, the empty trains uh, green ones are loaded trains and the blue ones are the passenger trains if i click on this passenger train i'll get the detail the nizamuddin uh, eknr express and uh, uh, the last reported station and the eta destination for lo for loaded trains this is the detail complete journey can be viewed what time it has reported at this particular point we clicked and viewed and for empty train also we have uh, the similar thing so likewise we have a number of filters available including le twin pipe flag coa linkage whether it is being uh, it is running uh, as link train with coa and commodity consigner consignee or egg type i may apply a filter on these things also so the next part is queue availability for this queue part we are integrated with queue management system so say i click for nr there is a list of uh, cms lobbies which are available over nr so i click on this thing so there is a brief summary here uh, lobbies with queue designation these are the queues which are available and which are under rest and these are the lobbies if you click on this uh, particular lobby you will get the lobby status the assistant loco pilots 53 are headquarter available 39 are under rest and likewise common goods this is common this goods and these are coaching firms so you can click if you click on this you will get the entire detail uh, who are these which are basically available or uh, uh, they are outstation or headquarter one available or under rest so this is available for all the lobbies uh, over ir but if i log in with the uh, uh, railway board or ir user i do have the privilege to check it for entire ir or for particular zone or division then the next is expected uh, traffic at major interchange points so this, there are two positions available here live that is real time but at current uh, moment of time what is the position and what was the position at uh, odas so uh, there is an expected time of arrival but time they will be reaching uh, so uh, these are the trains which are basically expected to reach at this, um, at this particular interchange point see so expected ic time is this one and uh, um, uh, from where it has started from where uh, to where it is going and current status and the complete journey again how a interchange point will behave in the next 56 hours can be seen here What are the loads plan in whole IR for this interchange point is listed here, and there is a there is a breakup of from EC to NC, EC to NR, and there is third one NR to uh, EC. There is a breakup of loaded and empty. There is a breakup of stock type also, and you can click on this individual seven twenty number. It's right side, yeah. there is a detail of those rates. In case you click on any of this, you will get the entire journey details. Uh, so there, is a, uh, there are some color indicators uh, originating ones. The those which have originated from EC railway only, uh, through ones and the terminating ones. Break up. Uh, there is a direction here, EC to NC, and uh, at the bottom we have uh, we have this NC to EC. Uh, so the next one is stockwise position. Earlier we had seen that commodity wise position. Now we have stockwise position. In case we would like to see uh, uh, all the rates which are moving across Indian Railways and uh, are of jumbo trains uh, where they are currently moving, so you may select that particular jumbo type. And over over a northern railway, these are the trains loaded as well as the empty ones.
so this is a scenario of all bcn chain break in indian railways red one is empty green is loaded there's a brief summary here from where it has started where it is going and the last reporting time and the complete journey so likewise we may check it for uh, almost all the rig types now there are rigs which are detaining beyond free time so for under loading and under unloading so these are the chains uh, the green ones are under loading and red ones are under unloading if i click on any of this basically the rig id the uh, when it was placed what was the free time uh, up to and when it was released So again, this is a list of trains which have basically the summary of these points only. There's no specific, there's no additional information available there. Uh, so moving next, we have uh, a section-wise train performance. Uh, for this, we are integrated with the, the co-working uh, control of its application. Uh, basically, the performance is being depicted for three shifts: shift of zero zero to eight hours, eight to sixteen hours, and sixteen to twenty-four hours. Uh, there is basically the three months uh, data which we have received from COA system. How trains move, um, how trains have moved during those, that particular period. The period currently being used is uh, 1st April, 1st January 2021 to 31st March 2021. The last year, uh, same quarter. Uh, if I want to see it for shift one, let me first submit it and uh, then I'll be able to explain it better. So the performance is being shown in uh, three color indicators below average those trains which are basically moving the uh, below average basically uh, the uh, average speed of those trains below that average speed and there is a standard deviation there is a formula from uh, here and uh, the trains which are moving uh, between that a particular say uh, speed range and those which are moving beyond that particular average so so likewise in this section uh, in this section we have two directional movement the first direction shows the average part and the second one is below average if i click on this the juc to ldh and ldh to juc uh, the average speed the benchmark speed for this particular period the three months last year was 41.15 uh, kilometer per hour and the standard deviation was 7.49 and the speed with which uh, with which the trains have moved in shift one was 34.27 kilometer per hour so anything which is basically we uh, take the 50 percent of this standard deviation and we create a date uh, we create a speed range like like it comes if uh, 3.7 uh, something 41 minus 3.7 if something lies below 41 minus 3.7 that is below average and if something lies uh, above 41 plus 3.7 that is uh, the good and anything which lies in between these two values that is average so likewise we have calculated the uh, performance of this particular section both are red So the mean speed was this, the range is this, the range is again uh, um, using that particular standard deviation and the shift speed is, was this. And the shift speed has been calculated on the basis of six chains. This is complete picture of the section. So number of trains are here. Shift speed is based on nine nine trains and this eight trains and four four trains. 
Uh, so the next is uh, loads which are stable across IRs. We have just uh, information of those loads. So the green ones are uh, the basically there are color indicators available here. Uh, they are rate stable and the loads which uh, are stable for more than 72 hours. And the red ones are only piecemeal stable and uh, the purple ones are piecemeal which uh, have which are stable for more than basically 72 hours. If I click on this, this is stable since uh, 4th March and 4.49. This chain, this uh, BRN uh, load. There's the criteria uh, filter available here. It's stable for more, less than, more than, and between something. If I say uh, the chains which are stable between uh, 10 to 15 hours, 10 to 20 hours. And this report is tabled at 17th of March, uh, 5.52. It was supposed to come out of the that stabling thing or at, on 9th only, but it is still stable. So these are the female trains, which are basically stable. I think there's no trains which is stable for more than 72 hours. So there are some new ODPS which basically have been added, the originating and destination pair which have been added uh, by the in last seven days, current months. Uh, the pairs which have never been appeared in last three years and have been added only by day. So if I click on commodity by thing, so for automobile, we have added one more pair, the KK to FN. This was the route which was taken and uh, this is a pair. And So for last seven days, uh, these are the things. And uh, for the container, we have added 14 pairs. And these are the ones. You may check the detail of any of the pair here. The complete route is like. It was maize, commodity was, uh, which was carried with maize. And this was the route taken. With the commodity wise uh, information as well as OD wise information. Again, the filters are same last seven days. For a particular date range, you may always check. Uh, so, the next is freight terminals. All the terminals which are available in my uh, territory, say NR, um, the CRT, PFTs, uh, loading terminals, and loading terminals, and private sidings. So, I check for loading terminals. These are the list of terminals available uh, in my zone. You may check for a particular commodity which load or unload that particular commodity. Click on this. These are the list of these are the basically depiction of those terminals. And if I click any of this, I'll get the performance analysis on the right panel. This is basically the operating analysis as well as uh, monthly, the last seven days, and by day. So the detentions, type by the commodity wise detentions. Then uh, basically the detail of those detentions, uh, able to placement, placement to release time. Then there's a commercial performance part also available, the tonnage in uh, kilotons and uh, freight collected. Seven days and monthly. So this is a different terminal of Firozpur division. So we may get the detail here. The commercial and operating performance for um, um, month, for this month, seven days and by day. 
then this is uh, loading statistics uh, for a particular commodity say coal so basically why day so uh, this is the loading uh, loading analysis for coal ec accounts for 26.38% of the loading of indian railways likewise wc is only 4.46% uh, 172 rigs have been loaded yesterday and uh, with nine 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 double uh, nine and three zero wagons. If I click on AC things, the DHN the Nvidia division account for hundred percent of this loading. Like in SEC, SEC and this is the loading contribution of different divisions for SEC. Then this is yearly loading analysis, loading statistics on the basis of freight and tonnage. Uh, and I'm um, viewing it for zones, the basis of zonal analysis. Commodity, I may select. So the basically yearly loss or gain of new traffic is available here. Uh, NR has uh, basically achieved 45.9% increment over the last year. NR 83, and is loading has gone down to 47.4% for this period. If I click on this, say NR. So the freight collection, tonnage, and invoice count, and these are uh, this is basically the six years analysis, the tonnage as well as freight. For particular commodity, this can also be monitored. So I think there's one more option available here, track your assets. Uh, here you may um, monitor any of your crew lobby, a particular logo where it is moving, the rate, or a particular rate or a wagon. If you know the wagon number, you just type in the wagon number and you'll uh, get where it is currently lying or where it is currently moving. And one more thing I would like to add that in case you find something that what is the purpose of this report, there is an eye icon available with every uh, uh, caption. This icon gives you the information, what is the purpose of this report, how data is being fetched, what particular thing uh, is denoting here. So there is a low holding performance of NR. The type by performance, um, basically divisional uh, holding statistics, this is divisional passenger holding statistics, basically those which are moving in passenger service, and divisional utilization analysis. Uh, basically, anything which is uh, basically uh, less than um, this 400 figure is underutilized. Average utilization of NR, uh, IR, vis a vis divisional utilization. And, we have given the detail of all the locals which are basically um, utilized uh, below 400 kilometers you may stretch it to something else and refresh it the picture changes if you click on any of this local there's a complete history here how it has moved where it has basically uh, taken more of the time So this was uh, idle for uh, 18 hours and 44 minutes at TKD. Then it moved for 21 minutes. Then again reported idle for one minute and on done and idle. Likewise, uh, the uh, timeline is here. Uh, so as a part of Dental Analytics team, we have added two new reports to this Purti uh, based on one is the predictive analysis and other is the unscheduled halt analysis. In the predictive analysis part, we have uh, we have tried to forecast the demand of different commodities for different commodities in terms of wagon and rigs uh, that I will going to take you through for next five days. Uh, so is here. Uh, currently uh, it is for cement. Uh, we can select for iron steel and coal also like for iron and steel. And we can click again. So it is for iron steel. Then for coal, similar way. When you will click on the first screen, it, it will show you in all the zones uh, what is what is the percentage accuracy as well as what is the previous day uh, demand in terms of wagons and rigs. 
like nr it was 10 weeks and four foot in terms of wagon it was 441 and our accuracy was around 66 percent for your yesterday if we want to go inside we can click on any of the zones like if we go to sec then we can see division by and for particular siding we can further click on the division to see of that particular siding like if for this particular siding we can see here it it can it is showing for uh till the neura it is it was its accuracy for yesterday was 84 percent and actual demand was 10 and 49 in terms of wagon and what we predicted was 12 and 518 in terms of wagon for this we have predicted for next five days so from from the bar chart we can see for the next five days like for 16 the current i am seeing for the date 16 date so it is showing for 16 17 18 19 and 20. it also shows what have been the accuracy in the last five days like from 11 to 15 what we predicted and what have been the accuracy like red ones are the actual and the blue ones are the forecasted in terms of wagons it is shown we can also change the rake type and we have also given the facility of grid view like we can see it in terms of numbers also like what is the accuracy and what is the demand at different sidings what will be the demands at different sidings in the next five days for the prediction purpose we have taken the trends in the indent placement data that is available as voice and as well as we have given the facility of uh, adding a blow up value like for each day like if if a user wants like he we have predicted 89 and he say it is it will be two times then he can add that value to it accordingly uh, rakes uh, the indents are uh, for the next five days or seven uh, which we predict is based on whatever has been did entered into the system by the user already and many times uh, such information is available only on a telephone or uh, some private information maybe in a whatsapp group people will tell you that we will long to road uh, two more rakes uh, on tomorrow or day after so if that information is available we can we have just given a provision to enter that data so that uh, this data will finally be used for empty rake optimization or uh, route planning empty flow planning also so that is the reason why we have kept this uh, blow up factor for the present otherwise we based on whatever has been the historical input into the data entry into the voice terminals uh, that is being captured and we are able to predict the uh, demand for at each of the sidings for the next five days uh, second report is the unscheduled halt analysis uh, this report gives us the halts which are not near the station area because currently we know that halts basically should be occurred uh, near the station area but there are halts which are not station area so we have tried to capture the halts which have occurred uh, apart from station area and we so have let me uh, let me put it in perspective the current method of uh, uh, capturing the train arrival place of departure whatever timings we have is uh, there are two places one the station master reports the data to the control that the station the train has passed this area and there is a driver guard uh, rough journal which is there with the driver guard but those driver guard rough journals are very crude we don't know where, where exactly where is the level crossing gate where the train got detained or maybe outside the home state home signal the train got detained now with the rtis data that we have and remlot data for uh, diesel around 50 percent of the locomotives on indian railways are already uh, have these uh, satellite tracking devices so we are now able to pinpoint even in midsection where are the detentions happening uh, across the different zones and uh, divisions so that's the purpose so what what were the detentions out of course in the mid sections in a division uh, in the previous day that will be part of this uh, report uh, so for accessing the report we can select the zone in which we want to see the then we can have to select the division and we can there is an option of rtis or ram lot as well as we can also select goods and passenger and we can also see the detention time like uh, it is a total detention time like if there were 10 trains which have passed through a cluster or a point and there was a they have detented for one one minute each so the total detention time will be 10 minutes so on that basis what total detention time we can also change in the Lucknow division it has uh, shown two clusters while when we will click on the cluster we can see the uh how many freight trains have been 
uh, halted in that part and how many passenger train have been halted in this part there are no passenger trains in this cluster and there are few freight trains in this cluster total detention time of this cluster in 865 minutes uh, this total detention time indicates that what is the time taken spent by each train in this cluster like we kept every 30 second we have an event from east loco so that from that we have calculated this total detention time and there is a facility also like uh, we have also measured that we, which level crossings are near these clusters And if, you, and if we know that these clusters are going to be frequently occurring, then we can also add them to the cluster so that next time around we won't show that uh, cluster detention. For example, everybody knows that outside New Delhi Station, outside Nizamuddin or Anand Vihar, there is very uh, there is regular detention happening. You want to exclude it? We can uh, do that as well. Yeah, we can give it here the name and its radius like 50 and remarks. Like a regular detention. So it will be now be added to the known clusters. And it will not appear next time when you will log into this report. Freight trains are actually for crossings and precedences, they can obviously be uh, detained at a particular station. But whatever is happen, happening mid course in the uh, mid section, in the, in the block section, uh, that is getting captured. So we are not right now uh, including those detentions which is happening in the, like for precedence, you are in a loop line or you are stable for want of crew at a station. Those things are getting excluded. Only those uh, trains which are, which have got detained in the block section, those are getting, and those particular locations, not even trains. Those locations will be shown where there is heavy detention.